Hey there guys, welcome back to Nimby Rails. We're starting off with a quick time lapse today, building Bristol Temple Meads in the surrounding area, as large stations in small spaces tend to lend themselves to this sort of format. It gets a lot more track building into an episode in a lot less time. So I've started off with the main station and I noticed on the map I was looking at each of the platforms is split into A and B and from my knowledge of how services tend to work here a lot of them terminate and go out the way they came rather than going right through. So originally I started with trying to have all the platforms separate and connect them up in the middle as that seemed to allow that best in this game. However I think in the end, I can't tell if I've already done it but I'm going to go with I probably have at this point, I ended up just combining them so it was one platform all the way through because there wasn't enough space to get two separate platforms in at least looking good it, it was possible but it would have looked horrendous so now we're just building the junction out to the north heading up towards Filton Abbey Wood and Bristol Parkway and for some reason I have stopped presumably to look at a map to work out where the station goes there we go it's Lawrence Hill Station or Lawrence Road or something I can't tell <laughs> we carry on up and you can see the line I've already built in between sessions further up above Stapleton Road. Probably was Lawrence Hill then if it's Stapleton Road. So we just go up there to join up with that. And that's the branch off down to Seven Beach, which we build later in the episode. There we go, and it's connected up. But this fast, it's a bit awkward with the camera moving, but it works for the station. It's now building the junction down to the south, heading out towards Devon and Cornwall, past Western Supermare. So it awkwardly curves in quite tightly across the river, which made it quite difficult to build this section. Because there's a lot of short sections to get the corner in, but then you can't have points on short track sections. And then also crossovers, it's not strictly prototypical, just to allow access to every platform to make it a bit easier when I come to set up the routes. And this line's coming down through, I, is it Phillips Marsh? No, that's, I think that's Plymouth's depot. I'm not sure what the depot's called here, off the top of my head. But that's what it is, they've got the depot, which you can access from both sides of Bristol. And into the bay platform. And that's it. Let's hop into the game. Hello, so we're in the game now. We're going to build the Seven Beach, I think it's called, line. And then that will be it for today's episode. So, first things first, I need to find the right page in my booklet of maps because I am not actually sure about this line. Okay, first station, Montpellier. So we place our bets as to where it is, I reckon, there, judging by the gap in the road. It's just a guess. Now, technically, this branch is single track, but I do not have that capability, so <laughs> it's going to be dual track. It's not really a big issue. It means that trains won't clash along here because I think two trains are going to be needed to operate the frequency. Possibly. Montpellier. Redland is going to be somewhere. I have a station after it is Clifton Down, so it's going to be before Clifton, I would assume. I do not see a Redland, obviously, on this map. Let's have a look at where the line would go. Um, that's also not clear. It could go anywhere. Ah. Well, I mean, what I'm seeing is I've put the station in the wrong place because the line goes up here. So, I mean, there's that. Well, let's just put the station there, then. That'll do. It's close enough. Um, it means I also have to now redo this bit of track because that's now going to have to be viaducted to get into the right place. Okay, <clears throat> so it comes up here and then there's maybe a tunnel to get through out here. Really I'm going to need to look at a map aren't I? That's what I'm realising. Okay, Redland's just sort of here, turns out. Yeah, I've got a track map out in front of me, because that was really helpful for building the 
uh, junctions around Bristol Temple meets. But it's not geographically accurate, so actually finding out where the stations are is no useful. After Edinburgh, we've got Clifton Down, that is here. Ish. Somewhat. It's the other thing I've noticed. I, I may have mentioned it earlier in the time lapse, but the uh, one of the latest updates has changed the way distances work for at least for stations. And wh what would have been a 200 meter station is now a 400 meter station. I don't know if it's now more accurate or if it's now less accurate. I did notice originally the trains were nowhere near the same length as the stations. So I assume it's now more accurate. It means my stations along here are now half the length. Maybe I'll go back and change some of the others because they're now way too long, which doesn't surprise me, really. It depends how I'm feeling. I've also had issues with actually getting this map to open without crashing in the last couple of updates, so it's not a given I'll be able to get into it to make those changes, but we'll see. So come down here. The next stop is Sea Mills, which is up, not there. Up here, we sort of just have a line, a station there, and we're going to rename that Sea Mills. And I'm realising now quite how loud this keyboard is. I thought it was, in theory, it's quieter than my old one, but. It is still very loud, which is what I get for buying tactile keys, really, but... Tactile keys are nice. It's just unfortunate they don't really work for YouTube. I bet I just need a better mic. So, we're up at Sea Mills, then next is Shirehampton. Which, I mean, could be anywhere around here. I'm going to guess somewhere around there, but we'll see. I'm right, it is actually right here. Um, look at me managing to guess where stations go. Never been, well I have been to Bristol once, but not by train. Um, oh, Avonmouth next. Okay, Avonmouth is the actual two track station. It's got a passing loop and everything. <laughs> uh, and that goes here. 100 meters. A lot of freight uses this line, is my understanding. And there's a connecting line up to the main line as well that allows it to uh, to get out quicker and do a loop and everything. Uh, right, so that's Avonmouth, then St Andrews Road, which is outside the freight yard. And that actually makes it a bit difficult to find. It, it could be anywhere. I think it's here. Yeah, there's the footbridge for it. Okay, 200 metres. Just, just the 200. And St. Andrew's Road. There's no apostrophe in there, which is a little odd, but... And then the last stop is Seven Beach, which is all the way up here. Now, Seven Beach will be... Just try and work out whereabouts in relation to everything else. I think it's there. Actually place the station. Seven Beach. Not primary school. It's not specifically built for the primary school. It's just near to the primary school. So now we just have to connect the tracks up which is always easier said than done. But I uh, say it comes down here along the marshland, by the looks. I assume that's marshland. I don't actually know. And then sort of straighten that out a bit. And, oh wow, I really did just sort of not bother with some track. Okay, over that bit of marshland on a viaduct, round the bend, and round the top of the river. Um, that's, got a, that's got a name, that sort of formation. 
I learnt in geography. Doesn't mean I remember it, but it does have a name. Um, and yeah, up here over the true carriageway, um, I can't even remember how many stations are now. Avonmouth, and then it's just connecting Avonmouth to St Andrews Road. Uh, so turning would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? There we go, bring it in. Maybe like that. There's a freight yard here. I can't really do freight yards, so I'm just going to do a, a bypass track. That'll do. And then I just have to work out how that connects round to here. Apparently a tunnel? <laughs> don't think it is. But sure we'll tunnel it temporarily. So there are two closed stations along this section that I, I don't, I'm not aware of any plans to reopen them, but it feels like in mean, the centre of a city you'd think you'd reopen them, but I guess it's an industrialised area really. Maybe there's just not the call for it, I have no idea. I know St Andrew's Road is the least, or was the least used, or has been the least used station in Bristol, I believe. So, maybe there really is just not the call for it. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, I'm meant to be going up here. And then round this curve. And can I sort of. There we go. Go at that link. Sure, over the road. Why not? Round the corner, and in we go. There we go. That's done. I will click build. So it is built. So between episodes, if you haven't seen this yet, I've also built quite a bit of GWR. So I built out from, I can't remember where I was before, but we'll go with from Swindon. I've built along to Bristol Parkway, the square, I did feel snappy wood off camera, and the Seven Tunnel out to Caldecott, and then also the line which isn't actually GWR, but it's cross country, I believe. Up through Chepstow, Lydney, also at the, uh, I'm, I'm not sure which steam area that is. But whichever one it is, it's there. Um, continued up to Gloucester. I think I built down from Worcester to Gloucester, Gloucester to Swindon, and to Crystal Parkway, and also the Oxford to Worcester route. Uh, and then I believe Thameslink was also down in between sessions. So we've done quite a bit. Quite a bit has happened. The game barely runs. I, I have to have it paused currently. Uh, a second in game takes about 10 seconds in real life to pass currently, just because of the sheer volume of trains running. It's not ideal. Okay, I think the last thing we'll do today is just set up the Seven Beach line as a route with some trains on it. Yes, so we need. I need to pull the green of GWR, which I have used elsewhere. Oh, look, it shows. I've, it's the first time I've played this update, so it shows transfers to different lines now. That's quite cool. Um, right, about to hit, paste. We've also got different ways to consider intervals, but I'm not sure what difference that makes. All I know it does is it means I have to change the way I set up routes now. So we've got GW. Bristol, I think, to Seven Beach. I'll change that if it's wrong later. Five double five. Yeah. So previously, I would set up the route so that, like, I'd start at Seven Beach, for example, because nothing else is there, and that would be the only place that had an interval. So the trains wouldn't be spaced at any other station. And they could get closer together or further apart, and then at Seven Beach they would re-space themselves because that way they wouldn't affect any other route. They wouldn't delay any other route. Now you have, you seem to have to have. I'm not happy with that actually. I want it to be sort of over here. Although that's also questionable. But I do feel like that might be the best platform for it. Um, I'm assuming it stops at every station. It does. Yeah, it, you seem to have to have an interval at every station now, which isn't ideal. 
But it doesn't make sense to make the interval really short, because if it wants an interval, it's probably using it to calculate something. So I have to give it the... like this is a 3 every 2 hours, so it's a 40 minute interval. So I'm going to make every station 40 minutes, which means that it could start delaying stuff around Bristol, but there's only so much I can do about that. Uh, one minute stop times. And I don't know what the speed is, but it's 165 to 166 has apparently run it. Uh, yeah, I'm having some issues with text, just take a bit of time to load. 165 to 166 is what I don't think I've either of. No, I've got 168s, but they're really not the same. Um, in which case, we're going to use 150s because I know they used to run down there. <laughs> it's going to be my approach. Wow, that looks... Oh, oh, there we go, it's loaded now. I think they changed the way loading works in, so it's a bit quicker to run start the game, but it takes a lot longer to load it when you're trying to actually build a train. So these run at 121, which I think is the same as a 165 or 166. So that's fine. 121. And... That makes an interval of 121.59. So we want four trains. Just. 120 would have been less than 120 would have been three trains, but 121.59 means we need four. So we'll buy one, we'll put it on GWR7 Beach to Bristol and clone it three times. What I might do then is take the stop at Bristol and make the dura uh, stop duration three minutes instead, just to space them out a little bit more. With a slightly longer turnaround at the terminus, which makes sense. I mean, that is normal to have. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the time lapse at the start. I'm thinking I might do that a bit more often for the big stations, so maybe Cardiff will get it. So it, it lends itself to areas where there's a lot of track in one place and I don't have to move the camera much. Unfortunately, I've kind of done a lot of already, but Cardiff crew, I was thinking of for it. Maybe Leeds and York could benefit from that sort of approach. But let me know what you think. Like and subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.